Coming up in this week's show, we've got hot air news, we've got air streaming with the best of YouTube, and Kai Atbrin is mooching round the Air Arms factory to give his PCP an MOT. Welcome to Airheads. In here, I've got my trusty S410 Classic that I've had for quite a number of years. I'm about to pop into Air Arms, see if they can do a refurb job on it. I lent it to a friend a while ago, and he's got a bit of rustle on the barrel on the cylinder. But Claire from Air Arms said there's something in here they can do for me. So, Chris, this is our patient for today. This is my old Air Arms S410 classic. <laughs> That's in some work, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. It's not in a very classic shape at the moment. As you can see, it's a, it's, it looks like it's got some kind of disease. I'm hoping that you are the man to uh, fix it. So. Yeah, I can get this sorted out. We're going back, looking at the cylinder here, we've got a date on here of, of 2005, yeah. um, when cylinder was manufactured. Uh, what we do these days, anything over 10 year old, as a matter of course, we change the cylinder over anyway. Change it over. So, so that that go lovely and black. It's an amputation then. Yeah, and we also we can also change the uh, the barrel over as well and get that looking a bit flashier. Sweet. Okay, then brilliant. Right. First thing we're going to do, we we'll take the stock off and get it out of the way. When I'm doing these guns, what I like to do is take them apart. Yeah. Then work back into a new cylinder in this instance. Okay. So we get we work out of the way. Hold on to that for a second for us. Yep, I've got it. Next thing to do is very, very important. We make, need to make sure there's no pellets up the barrel and the air is going to be emptied off. Okay, so in the box, we've got a hard box down here, a couple of shots through it, sounds empty. Make sure it's clean. And it's cleaned out. So, next thing we do, we can vent the air out of this. Cool. A couple of ways we can do this. We can break it at this point here, yeah. or we can shoot the whole thing down, which takes forever and a day, but uh, let's break it at this point here and let all the air out of it. Okay, fantastic. Simple as putting it around the joint, slowly releasing it, bursting the O-ring. The O-ring pops out and the air is controlled. Makes it safe to work with. Yeah. It's a bit like a little, little uh, surgeon's table here. You've got all your tools all laid out neatly in the side here. Yeah, I've got everything that I need for doing all the guns, to be fair. Yep. Um, some of the bigger bits, uh, cylinders, barrels and stuff, are out in the, in the main workshop, but I've got all the bits and pieces, spring seals, yep. for doing servicing on most of the rifles that we do. Great. Nice. I like jobs like this. I sometimes get people bringing in carrier bags, bits of guns, can you fix my gun? <laughs> what, bits and pieces? Just bits and pieces. But to be fair, the people that do that, there's every single bit fixed in their gun in the bag. All the screws, all the Everything. valves, all the springs, <laughs> the whole lot. It's, it's, it's great, yeah. So th for you, this is relatively a uh, straightforward job then, is it? Oh do? yeah, so service, I do, I, I do a fair bit of service yeah. uh, each week. A uh, lot of it's routine, to be fair. Mm -hmm. people send, some people send their guns in like, once a year for an MOT, which is the full service again. Yeah. Uh, some guns I don't see 10, 12 years, <laughs> you know, so that's, uh, they've, they've had a good life. I've done, done the job, so after 10 years, I think it's deserved of a, of a full service and a full seal replacement. I mean, I think I must have bought this rifle like six, seven years ago. Yeah. From, some, from, a, from a friend. Yeah. Because um, I did have the S200 before, and so this was my, uh, this is the gun I did most of my hunting with, and this did come in for service around that time. So okay. it'd be interesting if you could look back at the serial. We can check the serial number. We keep all the information on a, yeah. on a, on a file system uh, to find out when it left us, what velocity it was in when it left us originally, yeah. um, who who bought it uh, initially, um, and where it's been since, and where we've seen it back. So. Be not, yeah, it'd be nice to know the history of. Cause yeah. I, I don't really know much about before when I bought it. Only part the guy. 
but he might have had it from someone before that. So it'd be really interesting yeah, to know. Yeah, but it takes you know from the, from the first person that's bought it, it, it takes it all the way back. Um, as long as they fill in their warranty card to start with, yeah. um, we can trace it all the way back. That's amazing. Right now we've broken this seal on top. Yeah. What I like to do is just take the odd bits and pieces out of the way okay. um, and, and break the gun down into individual sections. So the silence can come off first. Ooh. You can see from there where it's just the screws has been tightened and tightened yeah. and tightened onto it. We can sort that out. Basically, we can rub that. Well, we can change the barrel over anyway, so you have a nice new barrel yeah. when we finish. Special tool number one. Um, there's loads of people that want to buy these. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's got two pins that locks into the end of your end of your rifle. Is that tool specially made here for, for that? It's made here for this, this unique, particular job. It? Yeah, yeah. There's not many of them around. Gold dust. I'm sure Matt would like that. <laughs> <laughs> And then plugs out. Right, cylinder. Looks absolutely fine on the inside. That like I say there'll be nothing wrong with that, but uh, we like to change everything after ten years, so yeah. that's gone. Goodbye, cylinder. <laughs> You've served me well. A new one. Right, here's your new cylinder. Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. We can get that a bit of shine to start with, what I like to do. Put a bit of oil over it. Yep. Use our lymph free tissue. Give it a wipe over. And inspect for any wow. kind of marks or blemishes in there. Right, one of our little, other little tools we've got here is this witch's hat type setup. Basically, that goes over the top of the body. Yep. Then we get our replacement seal. All that does pushes it onto it, yeah. Stops the seal from rolling. If the seal rolls, puts a fold in it, ah, potentially right, that's a yeah. weak spot on the seal okay. for air to escape. So using that, pushes I'll take, over. I'll take it there's not many of these around either. No. <laughs> <laughs> and zip it back up. Hasn't got to be over tight, you haven't got to lean on it lots and lots. Just tweak it up. Once the air's in there, that will hold the whole thing together as well. Okay. Right, going back to our inlet valve. That that valve there, I've got the S510 carbine and I've got the S410. Yeah. Um, they've both got the T-piece. T-piece on the end. Are you able to put a T-piece on it instead? Yeah, we can sort that out. We can go and get a T-piece from, from the stores and because, get a T-piece version. Because it'll you. save me having to change, change the, you know... The adapters. The adapters all the time. Yeah, okay, I'll go and grab one of those. We can retrofit the adapters right now. Brilliant. If you look at it like a, a car tyre, average car tyre, around about 29-32 PSI. Yeah. These guns are pumped up to nearly 3,000 PSI. <laughs> um, wow. It's, it's, it's quite a fair, fair bit of pressure and not to be messed with, to be honest. But that's it, so if you've got a problem with it, rather than uh, doing it at home, if you've got no knowledge, then just it's better to get the experts like you in. Send it in to us, like I said before, yeah. or even to one of our main uh, service centres. There yeah. are a fair few dotted about which you can find the information on our website of where the service centres are. So I'm really impressed. I've got the finished article here a million times better than when I brought it in. Chris has done a fantastic job. So we've got a new barrel. I've got a new cylinder. I've got to be cleaned out. New O-rings, new screws. It's, the thing is as good as new. I can't wait to go home now and test it out. Now, it's David with Hot Air Airgun News. This is Hot Air. The growth in shooting sports is set to continue thanks to air gunning. Air guns are an important part of a kid's activity such as beavers. This group of beavers in Bristol has just been presented with their Chief Scout Bronze Award after taking part in activities including archery, night hikes and air rifle shooting. Meanwhile, these air cadets from Pershaw in Worcestershire have been recognised for their precision at the rifle range with an award. 
achieving their Squadron Marksman Award. China's Kui Ping Zhang is back to the top of the Airgun Paralympic World Rankings. She set three individual and a team world record at the 2015 IPC Shooting World in Croatia. She will be at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Airgun events, which will take place in September next year. Great Britain has 10 quota places, winning three of them at Fort Benning in the USA in November. For the second year running, the Air Arms team has won the UK AHFT Manufacturers Award. Air Arms boss Claire West singled out team captain Pete Sparks for thanks. Crosman is opening up a shop in Pakistan. Its Marauder airgun is already popular in the country. Now it plans to open its first Crosman airgun range in conjunction with Broder Sports Pakistan. And finally, the World Championship Squirrel Cook-Off has taken place in the States. In the past, recipes have included squirrel ice cream and squirrel brains with cream cheese in a puff pastry. Baja Squirrel Tacos. The winner this year was squirrel empanadas with cilantro lime dipping. You are now up to date with Hot Air. Aiming for accuracy, targeting the truth. Now from the south of England to the wider world of air gunning on YouTube, it is air streaming. Charlie Jacoby here, this is my roundup of the best air gunning on YouTube. A good crop of air gun hunting films this week. Matt Dubber is after ground squirrels again with the Daystate Wolverine. Jim Pellet Power Smith sends me his film, Air Rifle Pest Control Ratting at the Pig Farm, using the air gun technology Vulcan in 177. Mr. Dave Rat starts by building a hide to go after wood pigeons and a couple of crows that poke their beaks in. In the big game department, American Air Gunner follows Jim Chapman to Virginia for an air gun whitetail hunt as well as looking at a new air gun action pistol speed shooting competition developed by Shoot Right. Benjamin Airgun's pro staffer Glenn Elliott goes on a turkey hunt with an Eva Shockey Golden Eagle in 177 and makes a 38 yard headshot using Crossman pellets. Natch. Pesting for porcupines has ex Ziver out after these agricultural pests. Well, they are where he comes from. Off hunting an almost Christmassy air gun dreamland is a montage of images of air guns by the Air Gun Exploration and Advancement Channel. And finally, speak Spanish. Alvaro Lopez reviews that Vulcan by Czech company Airgun Technology. Links to watch the videos are in this film's description. If you want to send in a film for air streaming, ping me the link charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. Well, that's it for this week's show. We are back in a couple of weeks. This has been Airheads. Goodbye. Goodbye.